And the reality of Brussels is very special too because after New York is the second town in the world who, where you have so many nationalities. I think we are in 165 or 183, it depends on who's saying, but after New York City is the second town in the world where you can find so many nationalities, which means that all these people have to live together. But even if they can live together, they also have to work together. Because you can live together without working together. Like here in the house, some are in the right side and the other, others are the left side. They are living together, but they are not doing anything together. So for so many years, people used to live together without doing anything together. And now the challenge is to make all these people, and that is very interesting, is to take people from South Africa, North of Africa, from north of Europe, from Asia, from Latin America, and you can find all these cultures in Brussels and help them to uh, work, like to be able to, to do something together. That's the challenge. And of course, you have some, what they call cultural um, barriers. You know? So they have some mentalities from their own country that they try to restore here, and it's not possible. Because if everybody want to keep his own culture, you, it's difficult for you to open your heart and your mind to the others. But we don't work with them to um, forget their culture. That's not the goal. And it will never be our goal. But um, after that you are relaxed with your own identity, you have to open your mind to the universality. That's the goal.